What is going on, everybody? This is Stryker, welcoming you to episode number 107 of my Minecraft Let's Play, guys. Now, in the last episode, we were doing some work over here on the horsey barn, and I decided to do a little bit off camera. So let me show you what I did. So first of all, I expanded my scaffolding out. I changed the inside here, that way it was more supportive of this loft area, and then I have created a loft. Now don't worry that it looks kind of weird with the, the dirt insulation sticking out there. This is going to be definitely trimmed to a much smaller size, but actually in the meantime, while we are here, let me do this, bada bing bada boom. So our window is going to go right here, and it's going to overlook into our home area, and then I will probably bring in some like hay bales and stuff in here, so I think that will look pretty cool. But yeah, so I changed that, so that way we can have the ladder right up the middle instead of just some weird ladder up the sides that wouldn't really work. I mean, I'd have to delete a torch or whatever to come up on the side. So, put it in the middle, and put a bigger support beam system under here. I, it looks a little wonky, but I think it works. I think if I put more stairs in here, it would look weird. I just put these stairs here. That way you can't really see the end of the log. Because I think, I don't know, I think the end of the log just doesn't go well with, with all the other wood tones, I suppose, that are in here. So let's see, guys. We've got the last row to do for the window. Or not the window, the roof itself. And I didn't really decide if I wanted to do slabs or steps but i think i think what we've done is slab and then steps so this should be a step row so let's go ahead and stick this up on here i think it'll look all right and then we can blend it into the gable there for the window which doesn't take much i might have to change a couple of blocks that i place but that's not a big deal i also think it's funny that the beacon doesn't reach to the back side here of this this barn area but it reaches to the front side so i'm working on the other half of the roof I get the speed bonus, but when I'm working on the back half over here, I don't. I just find it to be interesting. I don't know how you guys feel about it. All right, so I'm going to actually drop down now. Is this what we want to do with the roof? I think that looks good. Hey, I made it. Parkour champion. All right, so I think the roof does look good from the outside there. And then that's not going to blend. So let me just go over to the other side real fast. All right and boom 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 so then this needs to be a full block i would assume yep that'll work and that'll work and then we've got to figure out the way that we're going to roof this so this needs to like peak up but it doesn't need to peak a whole lot so i think if we go what one two three so if we start the roof here we can just do one wise steps here with slabs and I think that'll look just fine so let me do that on this side all right and then the last one will be right there yeah something like that so we need to get rid of this right here and then replace it boom and then bring that up and over here and then I will delete my block places here just so I could get the side going all right get that out of there get that out of there and I call that a roof guys so yeah the gable does stick up a little bit above the roof itself but that's not really that big of an issue it's pretty common for that to happen actually I don't think it happened on my other builds it might have happened on that one on my chest building area so let's go ahead and drop down and then take a look here at what the side of the roof looks so yeah I like it you know it blends well together it looks a little funny but it works, it does, it works. So we need to get rid of our dirt scaffolding. I use this to put the, the upside down stairs on. That looked weird. Need to put some wood here. Yes, do I, have, do I have logs, do I have logs? I do have logs. So let's go ahead and do that, boom, boom. Now our building is completely supported. All right, and then our grass will grow back there. No big deal, and then take out this. Oh, come on, give me that top. Give me the top block. And then we can put the window in from the inside, whoops, where we were putting our place. Now see, I keep hearing zombies down here, and I'm thinking there might be a spawner, but I don't, I don't know. We're, we're going to worry about what we're doing right now first. These blocks just don't make sense here. Okay. I feel better. All right, so anyways, now we need to get glass. I don't have any of the black stained panes. So let's go ahead over to the chest room real fast. Check that out. And then we can put those 
into a building. And I did leave the door open right behind me, but that's because I was leaving real quick. I always try to close doors behind me just because I don't want creepers or anything coming in. So yeah, I think it looks a lot better. Once we put the, the glass up on it, then we can make sure to finish off this roof portion. I think we can make this stick off one to match the rest of the roof. So we'll do that first. And I should have some of those slabs still on me, right? And still, Minecraft is, it's, it's lagging its fair share here recently. I've talked about it before, just because the new snapshot and everything, the way that it's all working. So, I think that completes it. Then from the inside, I guess we can just actually just level that one out. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the glass here. Yep, that'll level it off. Perfect, now the way that I did this inside is it is the bottom slab. So by default, no mobs can spawn in here. I just put the torches in, that way it, you know, it's not dark and has weird lighting because that's the way that Minecraft does their block lighting. So what we need to do is we need to just like block off what's going on under there and here. And I know, again, it looks funny, but we're gonna put up some wood in here. That way it doesn't look as weird. I think we'll just knock off this back row here to match the other row as well. All right, and take this back, misclick. Do I have slabs? I've got five slabs, but that's okay. I've got more materials. So we can complete this area here. I'm gonna grab my crafting table. And then what we're gonna do up here is we're gonna just put like a nice stack of hay bales and stuff up here, you know, cause it's like horse food and such horse supplies, so to speak. So we're gonna do that. So I don't think the slabs are gonna be an issue right now. The fact that it's a bottom slab and then it'll be like sticking out or whatever. I don't think that's gonna come to haunt us. It's not gonna be a problem. These block lighting glitches though are very, very interesting. Okay, so we got a nice little little even room going on up here. And then we'll do like that. So it's a nice little step up to the window. So you're on level with the window. And actually, I kind of want to do it all the way around the outside, just because I think it'll look nifty if we do that. So let's go ahead and grab some more slabs here. I just, I cannot right click and drag recently. I don't know why. I think it might be a, because my Minecraft is lagging type issue, but I have no idea. All right, so that works for now. And then we'll come up here and we'll stock this full of hay bales on like both sides and everything like that. So I will make it look fantastic in here. This is kind of weird how it sticks out though, but I think it'll be fine. Like I said, it's just a storage area. So I'm not too worried about it. And I can place on those blocks for lighting. Sure. So mobs can theoretically spawn on these, but since these are these torches are right there next to it, what's the block lighting here? Wrong button. Uh, seven on blocks. Actually, we can get creepers spawning right on there. I stick a torch there. Yes. All right. Cool. So now our barn overlooks our settlement area. So that is awesome. That's that's exactly what I was going for. So hay bales are what we need to make. And I honestly don't remember how to make hay bales, and I'm not gonna embarrass myself on camera. So. We're going to have to do that later. Now, we can do the fenced area, but I keep hearing stuff down here. So I'm kind of curious. Do you guys hear anything? I hear a spider. There's got to be something underneath here. All right, let's go ahead and let's, let's just go for a, a look. Well, I mean, we already found a cave. How you doing, sir? Sir? Please don't do that. Do I got building blocks? Alright, I got some dirt. It's fine, I'll get me down. Interesting. Ooh, that was a good drag shot. I like it. Alright, so we got some lava going down there. Can I place anything else? No. I just don't want to drop down because I don't know what I'm going to be encountering. There's another spider. There's a zombie. Ooh, got him. Where's that spider at? He's in that back corner. Got the spider. Huh! I thought I had killed you. And I forgot that you were down here. Owie. Die! He didn't die. He's still down there, but it's alright. Okay, so there's a cave under here. We can at least light it up and get rid of the mobs that are down here. So 
is like a, a really odd surface cave, because right up here is the surface. This could have been a creeper hole for all I know right here. Gosh darn. All right. So I'm just going to make sure to plaster all the walls here with torches. Got him. Because I don't want anything spawning underneath my barn. Too fast for you, skeleton. Are your boots really that effective, though? You've taken like six hits, and you're still not dead. Get out of here. Thank you. All right, yeah, see, we've even got grass going, oops, growing down in here. So, like, this seems like it could have been a huge creeper hole at one point in time. It just happened to link up to lava. I'm getting weird lighting issues going on here, though. All right. It's a witch. I'm not dealing with a witch right now. Okay, so we got a cave under here. We can go exploring that probably in the next episode. I think that'll be pretty cool. And not pick up any of those? Nope. All right, let's just go ahead and clear out this coal vein here because it's right underneath where my staircase up is going to be. So, yeah, now we got something to explore next episode. That's awesome, guys, because like I said, I didn't want to keep doing the horse barn. I just want to, like, get it done. And it, it's, it's almost done, almost done. We still have some work to do with the, uh, the fenced-in yard, and I also want to go get a second horse besides the ones that are up in the Santa enclosure. So, we might head out to go do that. And it's nighttime, which sucks. And we should be able to get out, knock out this dirt block, and we should be good. Yes. All right. Let's head back and sleep without getting blown up or attacked by a creeper or a spider or a skeleton or just about anything else here in Minecraft. Let me in the door. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and sleep off the night here. We got a couple minutes left, so we can at least head out towards the other horses. I need to get name tags. That's why we need to go fishing. I put that on the to-do list, go fishing for treasures. I need more name tags. I only had the two so I could name my horse and my dog, but I've got a name for another another horse. Whoa, don't look at that guy. Okay, so I got a name for another horse, so I need to do that. And my inventory is so cluttered right now, so let me just at least open up some space in here by putting some sticks away. I, I had a bunch of spruce. Oh my god. Did you pick up one of my dirt blocks out here? Freaking jerk. Where'd you pick up that dirt from, huh? I kill him. Ow. 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 The way that they updated the combat system in here is really odd in the fact that like you have to wait to swing your sword to get full power from it, so it makes it a lot harder to really do anything. Animal related, that's what I'm looking for. That and that. And do I have a free hand? I do not. Hostile mob drops, just throw those away and boom, we'll be good. Where'd you pick up that dirt from though? You destroyed my area, man. Let me just check the immediate surroundings and see where he picked up my dirt block. I'll see it over here. I gotta be weary of that creeper. Alright, he went to the right. That's where I was gonna go around him, but that's fine. You can stay to the right. Where'd you pick up this dirt? That's the one thing I hate about Endermen. The, the fact that they grief blocks. I don't know where it's at, so it's not that big of a deal. There's another guy over there. He's probably gonna pick up more of my dirt. So if I'm not mistaken, there are planes over this way. And there should be horses over there. And I believe I updated you guys and told you that I put the Depth Strider boots back on. It's just that the Frostwalker boots are way too laggy right now with the snapshot. And they also, they need to be fixed a little bit because they are kind of, see a torch that I place underground there. They are kind of killing my water sources. So like when I'm using water sources to, ooh, to like build or whatever, they'll like freeze my water source. So it's really, really hard to do anything with that when you're wa you're water block gets frozen solid and then when you break it half the time it doesn't give you your water back because of the way that the lag is going right now so frostwalker boots have been retired for the time being and they will definitely be back though so don't you worry i think that leads kind of down to a cave if we just dig that way and then yeah this is the plains and there's a horse already guys so we're probably going to kick off next episode by training us a horse and getting him back to the horsey barn that way mr sprinkles has some kind of a friend, a pal, a companion, a comrade, all those types of fancy words, guys. So yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all 
next time.